Causes The cause of adenomyosis isn't known. Expert theories about a possible cause include invasive tissue growth. Some experts believe that adenomyosis results from the direct invasion of endometrial cells from the lining of the uterus into the muscle that forms the uterine walls. Uterine incisions made during an operation such as a cesarean section, C-section, may promote the direct invasion of the endometrial cells into the wall of the uterus. Developmental Origins Other experts speculate that adenomyosis originates within the uterine muscle from endometrial tissue deposited there when the uterus first formed in the fetus. Uterine Inflammation Related to Childbirth Another theory suggests a link between adenomyosis and childbirth. An inflammation of the uterine lining during the postpartum period might cause a break in the normal boundary of cells that line the uterus. Surgical procedures on the uterus may have a similar effect. Stem cell origins A recent theory proposes that bone marrow stem cells may invade the uterine muscle, causing adenomyosis. Regardless of how adenomyosis develops, its growth depends on the circulating estrogen in a woman's body. When estrogen production decreases at menopause, adenomyosis eventually goes away. Risk factors Risk factors for adenomyosis include prior uterine surgery, such as a C-section or fibroid removal, childbirth, middle age. Most cases of adenomyosis, which depends on estrogen, are found in women in their 40 and 50. Adenomyosis in middle-aged women could relate to longer exposure to estrogen compared with that of younger women. Until recently, adenomyosis was most often diagnosed only when a woman had a hysterectomy. Current research suggests that the condition may also be common, but often undetected, in younger women.